Good evening. Good evening. It is a Thursday night and didn't have a whole lot of energy to do much this evening. But I didn't want to didn't want to call it a night too early and I didn't really want to jump into much else so I thought I thought I'd just jump on YouTube and just show a few things rip a couple of packs just just have a little bit of fun on this boring Thursday night leading up to the 4th of July holiday so Got a fat pack of uh, the new 2020 score. It's about the only football product I ever buy anymore. Got a clearance pack of 2019 Tops WWE SummerSlam. And figured I might go ahead and uh, at least get into a pack or two of the 1994 Fleer Extra Bases. Just, just for something, just something to do. So, um, so I will get into that in just a bit, but, uh, right before dinner, I was opening my mail and, uh, <clears throat> I got a, uh, I got another trade from the trading card database website, which if you guys aren't using that, um, already, it's a great resource, if nothing else, for the checklists and for all the information for the scans. Um, it's pretty perfect. Um, you know, whether you're a set collector, if you're a player or a team collector, they've got all that information. And then on top of that, you it, because it's it's completely user driven, um, they've got a great interface for you know, uploading your, your, your collection or your cards that you have available for sale or for trade, mostly for trade, but, um, but yeah, they've got a, um, they've got a great, they've got a great setup. Um, and, uh, I'm, I can't remember how many completed trades now I have. I know I'm over a hundred, but, um, and I don't even feel like I've been using that portion of the website for very long, but, uh, but yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm constantly sending out envelopes and I'm constantly getting envelopes to the point where my daughters are like, here, dad, here's another baseball card. <laughs> they, they know what the envelopes look like nowadays, but got this one in and I haven't really gone through it yet. Um, I love how a lot of, you know, a lot of us um, are, are cutting up old, um, crappy nine pocket pages and using those, um, you know, inserting it in a piece of cardboard. I've been using old backing boards from comic books because I don't really use those anymore. Um, I don't use backing boards with my comics, at least most of them. I get cereal boxes. I get cigarette cartons. Uh, I've, I've seen uh, people use a lot, of, little bit of everything. So, so first card we have here um, is a uh, Mark Hutton uh, '94 Sports Flicks. So I'm working on that set. I, I'm a sucker for lenticular cards. I've always enjoyed them. This isn't one of my favorite designs for sports flicks, but I'll take it. And then I bought a couple months back. I bought a guy in the description on eBay said he found a, a set of 94 upper deck series one at a flea market. And he said it was complete. And of course I, I bought it, got it. And the a rod rookie's gone. The Jordan rookie's gone. Uh, can't say I was surprised. 
but there were several base cards that were missing too, which kind of surprised me. Um, I already had the A-Rod and I had the Jeter, I mean the, uh, the Jordan, I have multiple copies of those. So no big deal. I was able to put those in the set, but uh, I was surprised by how many base cards were missing. So, uh, I threw the, I threw those on my want list and, and then bam, I already got a couple of them. So I, uh, I thought these were pretty sweet back in the day and I still enjoy, still enjoy 94 upper deck. So we got Willie McGee. We got a John Roper. Felix Jose. And a Jose Offerman. So that was all helped me round out the set. Another thing I've been working on uh, lately are food issued sets. Um, and there were a lot of sets that I, I don't even, I know some things were regional, but there were things that totally flew under the my radar, such as this Diet Pepsi set from 92. So, got Ryan Sandberg. It reminds me a lot of the post serial sets. And we got a, what was this 90, or I mean, excuse me, 2017 Stadium Club. What's up? Tim Raines, Tim Rock Raines. As with your typical stadium club fair, awesome photo. So it's another set I'm building. Pretty much all this stuff is kind of filling in holes. And let's see. Yeah, 97, I couldn't remember. 97, finest. I'm not sure why I started building this set. I don't have like any nostalgia towards it or whatnot. I don't even think I was collecting in 97. I think that I'd already, I think I had already, uh, I was in college. So yeah, I didn't have a lot of money. I think I may have just got a big lot or something of this and decided to go ahead and do it. And yes, I'm a peeler. Help if I had a better nail to get to get under this. Come on. All right, here we go. And now, oh yeah, much nicer. And to be honest with you, when with the proposed trade, I don't even remember seeing this. We got the Christy Brinkley, the header card, I guess you could say, for the insert. Uh, set which was found in 96 Pinnacle Series 2, which uh, is right up my alley, seeing how it featured the uh, World Series teams um, from that year. So we've got I've got the Braves and uh, and the Indians. So it's right up my alley with the Braves there. But uh, yeah, and yeah, let's see what else. Looks like some more 94 for deck. And Gary Sheffield, home field advantage. And West Chamberlain. So yeah, that's cool. That's one another five or six cards off the list. <clears throat> And uh, I am a wrestling fan. Growing up in the South, uh, 
wrestling's always been big in, in my parts. And uh, it's funny, my daughter, uh, my 10 year old daughter is, she has recently started to collect wrestling cards of her own, mainly the women's uh, revolution or the women's, whatever it's called, the women's division sets is what she prefers. Um, you know, she's bought a couple of blasters and a couple of discounted um, fat packs and she usually ends up, end up, uh, end up giving me some of the cards. She, uh, she opened some of the, a blaster of the SmackDown and she's like, boring, boring, boring. <laughs> she basically, basically wanted the women. So she gave me all these, which I need to, I've got a blaster, two blasters. I think I need to sit down and collate those, but I don't remember when I even picked this one up. It's just kind of in a pile of stuff in my office. So let's see what we got. I think we've only opened a pack or two of the SummerSlam. So we got a Seth Rollins and the Miz, AJ Styles and um, Shinsuke Nakamura, Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, The Miz, and Daniel Bryant, and Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn, AJ Styles, Xavier Woods, Seth Rollins, Cedric Alexander, the B team, New Day, the Bludgeon Brothers, which now he's Brody Lee. I think he's in AEW, and I don't even know where Rowan is. One half of the Iconics, Peyton Royce. Thank you very much. There's a throwback SummerSlam, Kane and Big Show. Same Edge and John Cena. I got a Ronda Rousey insert. Braun Strowman. Okay, this is one of the yeah, Women's Evolution cards that are, I think these were exclusive to the Walmart packs. So we got Charlotte Flair and Sasha. Um, SummerSlam Greatest Matches and Moments. Usos defeat the New Day. And Daniel Bryant defeats John Cena for the WWE Championship. I remember that match. So these are pretty cool. They're not my favorite, but sometimes it is kind of cool looking back, flipping through since they highlight events and you know at pay-per-views and different stuff but all right and uh i know i know these the uh 2020 score football have not been an easy find for a lot of people i know most most just about everybody i see on twitter that's you know, posting pictures of their card sections at their local Target or Walmart look like a barren wasteland. Um, but uh, these are starting to trickle out. And if you're lucky, I've not seen any blasters on shelves, but I've seen a couple of, I've been to a couple of stores <clears throat> or uh, not really a couple. Um, but uh, I found uh, this one at Myrtle Beach of all places and thought I had opened it, but I hadn't. I've opened a pack or two. Um, but I <clears throat> always like getting a nice little stack of cards. You know, five bucks. That not too bad. And this design, not my favorite, but I've definitely seen worse. 
So we got Will Fuller, Jason McCourty, Matt Judon, T.Y. Hilton, Quentin Williams, Joe Hayden, Mohamed Sanu, Matt Stafford, Tajay Sharp, Marvin Jones Jr., Marcus Mariota, Khalil Mack, Drew Locke, Gerald McCoy, Jimmy Garoppolo, Devontae Freeman, Brandon Cooks, Kirk Cousin, Kyler Murray. Oh, nice. Got a Christian McCaffrey, red parallel. I'll go in my Panthers collection. Got Todd Gurley red and a Victor Benjamin rookie. Ohio State, so the red blends in with good with those school colors. It's nice. In the zone, Cooper Cup. Huddle up, Kansas City. Next level stats, Dak Prescott. Game face, Gardner Minshew. Another in the zone, Drew Brees. 3D, Jarrell Casey, Kevin Bayard, and Logan Ryan. In the zone, Mahomes. 3D, Bobby Wagner, Jadavion uh, Clowney, and Shaquille Griffin. In the zone, Nick Chubb. I like these, these deep dives. These look, These are fun. Deshaun Watson. Next level stats, Dalvin Cook. Oh, here's another red parallel in the zone, Russell Wilson. I think the overall, these, these little insert sets, I think last year's were better. Jared Pickney, rookie. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, rookie. Jake Luton, rookie. J.K. Dobbins, rookie. K. Sean Vaughn, rookie. And Jordan Love. Wasn't this the kid that I think Green Bay drafted him? So, yeah, I, I don't buy much football, but I do like score. It's a good value and something fun, something different to open. All right. And then I, uh, I picked this box up a while ago. 94 Fleer Extra Bases. It was a one and done set. Which I can understand being that the Cards are not your typical size, but it's funny. The uh, it lasted two years in basketball, but only one year in baseball. And I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna open. Tell you what, I'll grab the top three packs. They are 12 cards a pack. There's one insert per pack. There's 30 game breakers, 20 rookie standouts, 20 second year stars, 10 major league hopefuls. They fall out a range of odds from one to three to one to eight. Oh, that's right. There was a mail-in. It was a wrapper mail-in. Ten limited edition pitcher's duel cards available only by mail. Send ten wrappers and a two-dollar check or money order by March 31st, 1995. So, missed the boat. I 
guess I like these just because they're they're different. So it's a very simple design, full bleed photos, just with a little bit of a border there on the bottom, extra bases logo, got your player name, team name, and position. On the back, got another photo along with your team logo, a little bit of a write-up, some stats. So that's Stottlemyre, Javier, Mulholland, Leis. Jim Edmonds, Cooper, Messina, Luis Gonzalez, Randy Myers, uh, Deion Sanders, Paul Molitor, and the Insert is a rookie standout, Brian Anderson. If that doesn't scream 90s, I don't know what does. There's your back. Frank Viola, Lee Smith, Caminiti, Willie Banks, TP, Terry Pendleton, Stottlemyre again, Javier again. It just doesn't forebode very well for the rest of the box. Mulholland, Leis, Edmonds, Cooper, so half the pack is already a dupe. And then we've got second year star insert David Need. I like the design. Too bad it was wasted on David Need. <laughs> Let's do one more. I almost feel like I'm unwrapping a candy bar. Galarraga, Bill Taylor, Galago, Kirby Puckett, nice. Jeff Russell, Shane Reynolds, Julio Franco, Kevin Stocker, David Segui, Henry Rodriguez, David Need again. And we got a Ben McDonald, Game Breaker. So, yeah, I, uh, I'll be, I'm going to build this set. I've already got my six pocket pages ready to go. Because otherwise, these would be a pain in the butt trying to store a whole big stack. But uh, but that's it, yeah. Just uh, wanted to kill some time before I call it a day. One more day of work before vacation kicks in, before the fourth kicks in. So I'm looking forward to that. And of course... Uh, I'll be like I'll be back tomorrow night live <clears throat> about 10 o'clock Eastern for my uh, weekly um, affordable group break. This week we're busting two boxes. Uh, we're gonna do series one and two of 1996 Tops Laser, which I am super excited about this um, about this break. And uh, as of the video tonight, um, I think there are four teams left. I think it's like the Expos, the Blue Jays, 
um, and two other teams that I, I just can't think of at the moment. But uh, you can uh, head over to cardboardcollections.blogspot.com. Check out the blog if you're not familiar with it. I do have the signups there. I did drop the prices this evening for any of the remaining teams. Um, so if you're at all interested, you can jump in there. But, uh, but yeah, that's about it for tonight. And uh, so I will have things ready for tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get some of these things put away. Y'all have a good evening.